In a continuation of games and tournaments, if you observe the next set here, it's called knockout tournament. You all know what is meant by knockout. Knockout means if you lose a match, you'll be out of the tournament straight away. There will be no tie. You need to either win or lose. So if you win, you'll go for the next round. If you lose, you'll be out of the tournament. Now here, on the basis of knockout tournament, he gave certain passage to us. You can see the overall brief of this passage. There are total 128, uh, what do you say, players are there who are ranked with some numbers like rank number one, rank number two, rank number three, rank number four, which is also called as seeded. Seeded with some numbers. You can see the word seeded here given. And based on the seeding, they will be categorized. Like, you know, if I say seeded number one, that means he is the most likely to win the tournament. He is the most likely player to win the tournament. But the highest expectations with, will be with that player. Seeded number two is second likely player to win the tournament. Third likely player to win the tournament. Fourth likely player to win the tournament. And we have total 128 seeded players. 128th player is the least, least likely player to win the tournament. So you can say the chances of winning by 128 is lower than above one, up to 127 players. The least of total 128 players. This is what the explanation is all about. Now here on the basis of the total data, there is one important point which we need to understand. This is called upset. Now what is meant by the word upset? Upset means normally 1 and 128 suppose if they are playing the match now this person is most uh, uh, the person who is most likely to win the tournament and this person is the least likely to win the tournament so chances of a one winning is definitely much much higher than chances of 128 winning so he is a superior player or the better player when compared to 128 now suppose if 128 wins this match by some possibility he win this match then i call this game or the match as upset so lower seeded person winning over higher seeded person is called an upset so that is what we need to remember when it comes to upset so now let us see how do we arrange the matches over here according to the given directions the matches are arranged like this say this is round one and in this one plays against 128 2 plays against 127, 3 plays against 126 and this continues and here in the last you can say 64, half of them are on this side, 64 plays against 65, 63 plays against 66, 62 plays against 67 and the matches are conducted in this manner. Okay, so I'll just make a small change over here. So here 65. I'll write it a proper way, 65. Okay, so now what is possibility here? The possibility is definitely 1 is better player than 128, 2 is better player than 127, 3 is better player than 126. If no hap upset happens, then in the next round, 1 plays with 64, 2 plays with 63, 3 plays with 62, 4 plays with 61, and it continues to happen like that and the last players will be 32 playing against 33 31 playing against 34 and 30 plays against 35 this is what happens now again if suppose there is no upset and this is called round two remember no upset here then one plays against 32 two plays against 31 three plays against 33 so on and it continues to or i can write further also the last numbers will be 16 playing against 17, 15 playing against 18, the next 14 plays against something like 19 and so on the story goes like that. Okay. Now further, if there is no upset happens, 1 plays against 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, they will be playing against 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 and here it will be 9 so this is the arrangement again if the best player wins then 1 plays against 8 2 against 7 3 against 6 4 against 7 i mean uh, 5 
I mean to say, sorry, five. Four plays against five will be the matches. And here, one plays against four, two plays against three, finally one and two. And if suppose this continue to happen like that, definitely one will win the tournament and he'll take the cup. So this is what the arrangement is. This arrangement is based on there is no upset possible. Now, if you call the last match as finals, semi-final, quarter-final, and then this is called round three and round four as the rounds. So you can see because of 128 players, this system has taken us seven rounds to complete the tournament. This all arrangement is assuming that the best player wins always. And this is what the arrangement has come out here. Now there can be questions here. What are the questions? Total how many rounds are played? That could be one question. So you can say total seven rounds are played is the answer for that. Okay. Second, total how many matches are played? If you see the matches over here, 1 to 64, there are 64 matches. Again, 1 to 32, there are 32 matches. 1 to 16, there will be 16 matches here. 1 to 8, there will be 8 matches over here. 1 to 4, there will be 4 matches here. 1 to 2, there will be 2 matches here. And finally, 1 match here. Sum of all these will be the total number of matches played. Sum of all these will be the total number of matches, which is equal to 127 matches here. But please remember, this is okay, this method is fine, but this is not the best method to get this total. Total number of matches played, this is not the best method. I'll tell you a simple method. Please understand the importance of knockout tournament. What is knockout tournament? If you lose a match, you'll be out of the tournament. Okay, so total, how many players were there, my friend? 128. Please understand the logic here. Total number of players are 128 and it's a knockout tournament. And at the end of the tournament, how many will be the winners? Only one. Only one. And what about the rest 127? They're all knockout. They're all out of the tournament. So if you conduct 127 matches, then only 127 people will be out of the tournament. Correct? So the total number of matches conducted are 127. That's an easiest logic to get this answer. I have one more method for you. This will be normally very useful for other quant questions also. We all know 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 2, 1, sorry, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is uh, 4, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 4 is 16, and 2 power 5 is 32, and so on it goes like that, correct? Now, suppose if I wish to get total up to here, in this case, I want to get total up to here. 1 to 16, I want to get the total. That will be one shot of the next number, my friend. 32 minus 1, 31. So this total will be 31. That's a logic. That's a method which we need to remember. So these numbers are also 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6. Kind of a numbers. So I want to get total up to 2 power 6. So what is 2 power 7? 128. One shot of 128 will be the total of that. 127. So multiple ways. You can see the multiple ways. If you understand the logic of the problem, then it will be easy for us. So knockout benefit is that. So what all the questions we have on this particular set, we'll take it. Now here, before I start any question, let us understand what is meant by an upset also. Like between 4 and 61, who is most likely person? 4. Suppose if instead of 4 61 wins that is called an upset instead of 4 if 61 wins so what will happen normally here 4 should play against who 32 33 this is 30 actually and 4 should play against 29 so suppose if there is an upset happens here instead of 4 61 will replace this position and 61 will play against 29 that is what the direction says that is what the rule of upset is all about. Okay, so we are clear with the concept and 61 will continue to play till he keeps that upset process happening. Now between 61 and 29, who is a better player? Definitely 29 is a better player, not 61. Now again, if 29 wins over 61, it's a normal match. But 61 wins again, 29 is an upset, is an upset. So what will happen, my friend, since 4 is a better position than 29, 61 continues at the position 4 for the rest of the rounds also if he keeps winning. So that is what we need to remember. 
whenever you get a better number like 4 and 29 better number is 4 so he will continue at 4 suppose he wins against 1 then he will change as 1 so this we need to remember while doing upset we will do that along with the questions so let us see the questions all of you what are the questions I can understand that we will do it here first ok so here we need let us see the questions on this and the questions are the first one you can see the first question here is number of uh, in case of no upset in the tournament in which round would the player seeded 10 face the player seeded higher than him player 10 okay player 10 when he'll play with higher seeded than him him and in which round it is possible that's what the question is so if you see the table number 10 so how do i track any person in this and who are the opponents is every time the opponent same definitely no how do i track if you see to track any player the concept is here 1 and 128 what is the sum of the numbers 129 2 and 127 129 3 and 126 129 so here the total of the two numbers here will be 129 similarly if you see the other one 65 65 65 so here the total is 65 always okay these numbers if you remember then you can make changes accordingly and here the total is 33 so here the total is 33 here the total is 17 and we can see all the players from here I am talking about the middle players which I cannot write or could not able to write it here okay so I am tracking player 10 now who will be opponent of 10 the total of these two players have to be 129 so the opponent of 10 will be 119 in this case and who is opponent here Op opponent to 10 is 55 and in both the cases 10 is better player than 119 so he will win 10 is a better player than 55 so he should win and here 10 is a better player than 23 he should win and in this case you see 10 is playing with a better player here or the seeded wise he is higher seeded here so 10 that's what the question is in which round 10 will play with a better seeded person so in the fourth round it is happening so answer for this question will be a four so in the fourth round it is happening that's your question Second one, how many players in the tournament won exactly one match? Exactly one match. Now, if you look at it, one, a player number one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches he won. Player number two, one, two, three, four, five, six matches he has won. What I want exactly, I want the players who has won exactly one match. Now, can I say in the first round from one to 64, all of them has won one, one match? Yes or no? Right. So 64 players will move to second round then. And then after that, 1 to 32 will be winning second match. But 64, 33, this range of numbers, 33 to 64, they have won round 1, but they lost in the round 2. So you can say from 33 to 64 are the seeded players who has won the first round, but failed in the second round or lost the match in the second round so these are the players who has won exactly one match 33 to 64 how many numbers will be there 32 numbers so there are 32 numbers who are winning only one match or exactly one match that's the point so your answer for this will be 32 which we don't have here so answer will be none of this okay next question assuming no upsets which player beats 25 okay so if you see it, we have to track 25 in, the, in this case. So we'll track 25 friends. Same method of tracking. 25's opponent I need to find out. 129 have to be the total. 25 opponent is 104 here in this case. And who is an opponent of 25 here? 65 must be the total. So the opponent of 25 is 40. And 25 is still better player than 40. Fine. 25's opponent if I say here. If I say 25's opponent player, 25's opponent player will be 33, 25 will be 8. And we know 8 is definitely a better player here compared to 25. So if there is no upset, who should win between 25 and 8? 8. So who is the player who is defeating 25? 8. Which round? Third round. So let us see where, what is the question here. Assuming no upset, 25. Who beats 25? I think 8 will beat 25 in third round. Okay. Next, 
if the player 13 won the tournament what is the minimum number of upsets required okay so that's your question 13 is the winner of the tournament sir here who is opponent of 13 13 opponent will be 116 so 13 is a better player so there is no upset here you see 13's opponent will be 52 who is again 13 is better player 13 will win naturally 13 will win here the opponent of 13 will be see this list 13 20 20 opponent of 13 will be a 20 here so definitely 13 is a better player 13 will win there is no upset required but in this case if 13 won't win against 4 can he go to next round no so you see 13 winning match here is definitely required and 4 will be replaced by 13 now since he's replacing 4 and playing against 5 5 is a better player of course when compared to 13 here again an upset is required so this match also should go with upset but please remember 13 is at a position 4 which is better than 5 so he'll continue at 4 so here 13 will continue in the position of 4 now this upset is again required otherwise 13 cannot win the tournament so this upset is again required here so 1 will be replaced by 13 and 13 will play against 2 which is also an upset so you can say this match is also an upset to win the tournament so how many upsets are required here 1 2 3 4 4 upsets are required to make ensure that 13 wins the tournament now why in the question see the question once again friends it is saying minimum number of matches now why it is said minimum number of matches please remember the total number of matches played are 127 maximum number of upsets possible also can be 127 you understand my point here in the total tournament only 127 matches are held so we should remember the maximum upsets also can be 127 so i'm not talking about 127 upsets here i'm not talking about the maximum number of upsets i'm talking about minimum number of upsets and with respect to only 13 i have got those four upsets if those four upsets won't happen then 13 cannot win the tournament so with subject to 13 those upsets were counted so minimum four upsets are required in order to make 13 win the tournament that's how the answer is next one which of the following players could have faced player seeded one in the fourth round so it is again very simple in the fourth round you see this is fourth round my friend who is an opponent of one 16 16 is the opponent of one so my answer to this is player number 16 or i repeat once i beg your pardon which of the following players could have faced could have faced so naturally who is facing naturally 16 is facing but if you look at the options friends there is no 16 in the options so what is possible here 16 might got replaced so 16 might have replaced before in the third round or in the second round or in the first round correct so who is an opponent of 16 i need to know 16's opponent is what 17 now possibly what can happen here 17 might have won the match and 16 got replaced by 17 is possible so the opponent of 1 can be 17 also so i need to know whether 17 is there in the options or not is 17 there in the options yes so 17 could be the person in the fourth round opposite to seeded number one so who else who else also we can see who else we can see who is uh, might a 16 uh, got replaced here who is an opponent of 16 according to this 49 correct 16 plus 49 is equal to 65 so here the opponent of 16 will be 49 so 14 suppose imagine here 16 got replaced by 49 here 16 got replaced by 49 and 49 continues to win then 49 also could be the possible player against one like that there can be few possibilities i need to check so according to options also you can check this problem okay so that is how we can close this point and end of games and tournaments we can say please do practice on these and make sure that you practice more and more on games and tournaments